college prep classes are classes that a student needs in order to gain access to a university, whereas an AP class is essentially an introductory college level class that we're teaching to high school students and then they take a big test in May usually and if they pass it, they can earn credit for college. Liberal arts provides a balance to those students that are kind of subject specific focused. Uh, so for example, the engineering students are keyed in with what's best for them in terms of math and science and physics. Um, but balancing that uh, with liberal arts subjects will make them perform cohesively and cooperatively in a work environment. I think a liberal arts education lays a great foundation for anyone who wants to learn more about the world um, and you know, carry on a decent conversation with someone else, form arguments, learn how to do research. If you look at the area that we live in, Southern California, having a second language is a benefit for life. It gives you an advantage when it comes to work, it gives you an advantage as far as understanding other cultures, especially the culture that, that almost dominates uh, Southern California. I think in general the students that tend to be in the AP classes are students that are a little bit more driven than others, in the sense that they see the importance of having the AP classes. They're more competitive when it comes to academics. And they're kids that aspire usually to go to, to, to bigger schools, more, again, quote unquote, prestigious schools. That's not to say that the students that decide not to take AP courses aren't motivated, but maybe their path is slightly different. Since the AP curriculum, or since the AP class is a simulation of college course, we expect students to employ more collegiate study habits, classroom habits, such as showing more initiative in the classroom, and uh, essentially being one's own advocate in the classroom. I think sometimes people are um, hesitant to take uh, some of the AP classes in art because um, they think they don't have uh, what it takes or the skill level. Um, in the beginning classes is where we teach skill and concepts, um, for example, like how to hold a paintbrush or how to mix paint. In the advanced classes, in the AP classes, um, it is more about the vision of the student artist. Um, they need to come up with what is called a sustained investigation. And so it's their vision and their exploring of that vision through a variety of art materials. You are going to take AP courses, so you need to understand that most of the teachers are going to be a little bit more demanding than the CP courses, which means that you're going to have to be better at managing your time. You're going to have to be better at um, studying better at writing, better at speaking, because all the components that, that make you a really well-rounded individual are going to be tested in the AP courses. I think all students need to be well prepared for class, do the required reading, turn in assignments on time, and be motivated. I would recommend that students ask the current teacher and also ask the next level AP honors teacher what they should be doing in order to prepare and then use the time remaining to fulfill those requirements so that they would be ready for the next level. I think students are hesitant to take a push because they're unsure of how much work it entails, um, they're maybe not confident in their ability to write, um, and I would encourage students to talk to other AP students to find out what it's, what it's really like or ask a faculty member. We always try to encourage kids to, to be in the spot where they're going to get the most. So for the bilingual kids, borderline bilingual kids, we encourage them to take the bilingual class, to become a bigger part of their, of their culture, to be able to communicate with their family better. For the non-bilingual students, we want to encourage them to take as high a level as possible so that they can function with the other students, so that they can share in this culture, so that they can enjoy it just as much as the bilingual kids or the Spanish. In terms of what incoming freshmen should do to prepare for honors or AP classes, I would encourage freshmen or even high school students of other grades to, to read more on their own. Because what can really make a difference between a student who is merely taking the class for credit as opposed to a student who is fully engaged in the class is how much they have a keen interest or dare I say a passion for reading and language in general.
social studies department, we offer a number of AP and honors courses in world history, U.S. history, macroeconomics, and um, U.S. government and politics. Uh, the content of each of those courses is wonderful in terms of, again, world awareness, preparation for um, students entering society in careers or in volunteer work or if they want to even travel abroad. So knowledge in these subject areas is very important. The AP classes that we offer in my department are AP Spanish language, which focuses still primarily on, um, on being functional in the language, focuses a lot on grammar, and then AP literature, which is for the very top students. And AP literature is just what that sounds like. We're reading stories from medieval time to modern times. We're analyzing, reading, analyzing, having to write papers on them. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit more strenuous than the AP Lang because, again, the grammar's already done, and now they're putting everything into practice. classes we offer are AP Studio Drawing and AP Studio Art 2D, which stands for 2D Design. Um, in the drawing one, um, you definitely do need some art skills for that one. That also may include painting, where drawing is the main emphasis. For the 2D design, that is much broader, which includes fashion design, animation, photography, um, but again, it's sort of a broad, broader topics. It's the student that comes up with the vision or the topic, and I am there to guide them. Uh, one thing we do have from the AP classes is we do meet on Fridays for a group critique. Um, so the students are also sort of helping each other, encouraging, encouraging each other. Um, and there too, students will talk about their work, um, which is an important part of the AP process. At Bishop Alamany High School, we also offer the Advanced Basement Capstone Program. And this was an innovative program created by the College Board about five years ago. And the components of that AP uh, Capstone program is a two-year program where kids will learn, uh, will take a class called AP Seminar in junior year and then AP Research in senior year. For AP U.S. History students, it gives them an understanding of, you know, why the United States is the way it is today. It gives them background on why we're struggling with certain issues, how we as a country approach foreign policy, um, you know, these things in history, it does repeat itself and I think it's good for students to be able to have some background knowledge in, in like why things are the way they are today. Um, the historical skills that are taught include continuity and changes in history, identification of what has continued, what has changed. Um, cause and effect, and also similarity and difference. So emphasis of these uh, historical skills is uh, very prevalent throughout the teaching of the, and learning of the courses throughout the year. Uh, why take a class in the arts, whether it is the AP or uh, uh, CP classes? And that is because art develops the right side of your brain. Um, although we think of the product, the art product, the painting, it's really about the process, and about problem solving about sort of putting the pieces together, trying to figure out those puzzle pieces. Um, part of art is also revision, um, and again, that's part of the creative process. That will help down the road in almost every other discipline um, where you've got to sort of think on your feet and um, be creative.